In this tutorial, we'll go over how to apply a different texture to each side of a single material, which is really handy for things like leaves. Now, the first part of this process will be texture preparation. I went to cgbookcase.com and I found this green leaf um, number 12 that I liked. And so here we have the textures for the front of the leaf, the ambient occlusion, base color, etc., and for the back of the leaf. Now, we can almost directly use all these textures, except for the height. But Lin Studio has a limit on the number of textures you can use in a single material. So we need to do a little bit of preparation first. So I went ahead and downloaded my textures just at uh, 2K resolution and got started. For my texture prep, I'm using Affinity Photo, but you can use Photoshop, the GIMP, uh, whatever you have. The exact steps might be a little bit different. So just if you get lost, look up the steps for your software of choice. So the first thing I did was I took my base color here and I applied that opacity mask as a mask. Just get the opacity in the same uh, image, just as the alpha channel. That way we can use one texture for both the base color and opacity versus two. So I just loaded the opacity texture, applied it as a mask. And so one thing you might need to do, uh, at least with Affinity Photo, if the mask isn't working, is if you select it, you might need to go to layer and rasterize the mask, then you should end up with this result. And I did that with both the front and the um, backs of the leaf. So here's the front and here's the back. Now the other prep work you need to do is if we come back to our textures here, you can see that this normal map is direct X format. Lin Studio needs it in OpenGL. Now that probably sounds like a bunch of gibberish, but the difference between these two is the green channel is inverted. So to fix that, I opened up my um, normal maps then I added this curves adjustment to each one. And if we open this up, um, we can see my green line here is going this way. So if I look at, let's say the red channel, you can see that usually we start at zero, we go up to one. And so to adjust that, you can just drag that down, drag that up, and now I've inverted the red channel. So you don't actually do that the red channel, it's just a green channel, but that's how I have this green line here. And if we toggle this on and off, you can see it just kind of looks like the neural map is facing a different direction. Uh, so that's all you have to do to get the right format. And then my last bit of prep was to combine the ambient occlusion, the roughness, and the metallic channels into one image. So this leaf doesn't have a metallic map, so I'm just using a plain black image for zero. The leaf is not metal. And then the ambient occlusion and the roughness are going to go into separate RGB channels. So there's this combined RGB channels website that's really handy. So I dropped my plain black image into red for the metal map. Roughness went into green. So you can see that kind of here. And then the ambient occlusion goes into blue. And if you combine them, you end up with something like this. And then you can just download it and save it as a material params map. And then also do that for the other side of your material. So once you have your image textures, go ahead and drag them into Lens Studio. And once you have them all in here, go ahead and create an empty material. So here in the resources panel, I'm going to come in and just choose empty. You could start with one of the PBR materials, uh, but there's just lots of extra stuff in there that's gonna be hard to duplicate. So we're just gonna build it from scratch with this empty. So let's go ahead and rename this to leaf material. And let's add a plane to the scene and stick our material on that plane. And I'm just going to scale it because my leaf image is not perfectly square. Just make sure we can see this good. And I'll drag leaf material. And there we go. It's just plain white because it's an empty material. So let's select our material, open the graph editor, and let's get started applying our textures. So I'm here in the material editor and we just have this shader output. So I'm going to right click or you can click the plus button up here. I want to add a node. I'm going to search for PBR lighting. Now this will give us our different texture maps. So let's plug this in and let's for fun, let's just start with the back of the leaf. So let's pull in those textures. So I'm going to add a node. I'm going to search for texture. And I want texture 2D parameter, um, not the object parameter. This would be uh, usually if you're going to mess with the UV mapping. Uh, the texture 2D parameter is just going to make it a little easier for us. I'm going to call this the back base texture. 
I'll go ahead and connect that to the albedo or diffuse. I'm going to control C, control V to copy that. And this is going to be the normal texture. And let's copy and paste that. And let's call this the back material params. All right, so we're going to connect our normal map. Then our material parameters, we're going to drag this out and drop. And we want to grab this split vector. Uh, we can disable output four. And our red channel is metallic. Our green is roughness. And our blue is ambient occlusion. And so once those are all connected, if you still have your material selected in the resources panel, you should see these slots appear here. So let's go ahead and take our textures. We can drag them or you can click and you can select from here. So we're grabbing our back textures. Let's get those added and you should see your relief show up here. Now you might notice you have this black outline and that's because you need to change the blend mode from disabled to normal to allow the alpha to work. Um, but you might still notice that there, and that's because if we come to our PBR shader, the albedo is only RGB. We don't have an alpha channel there. So you're going to take your base texture here, drag this out here, and we're going to grab the swizzle, which will let us grab just a single channel. So we want to grab the alpha channel. So in this box, just put the letter A. And now we can plug this into the opacity. And now over here, we have our leaf. We have just the backside of the leaf. So that's great. Um, so let's go ahead and load our front textures and we will get both to show up at the right time. I'm going to select all that stuff, drag it up. I'm going to hit control C, control V to copy it all. And just to say organized, I'm going to rename back to front on the base texture on the normal map and on the material params all right so let's go ahead and plug this in instead now you're going to see your graph parameters here update or the front textures so let's go ahead and grab these over so there's just our base texture there's our material params Here's our normal map. So once the shader reads this all in, we'll see our preview here update with our front textures. All right, so here is the front of the leaf. Now, if we come into our scene here, I'm gonna switch to rotate and also select the plane. That's the leaf. Now I can rotate and you can see there's nothing on the back. And so what we need to do is in the material editor, uh, we need to be able to switch between the front and the back depending on which way, uh, which side we're looking at. So I'm going to add a new node. I'm going to start searching for face. I'm just going to type FAC and we want this is front facing. So I'm going to add that. If I click this little I, it'll say returns one if the surface is front facing, zero if back facing. So this ratio here, we can use it with a mix node. So let's add a node, let's do mix, and we're gonna plug this into the ratio. So if it's one, that is front facing. So with the mix node, when the value is zero, we're just displaying the A channel. If it's one, we're gonna display the B channel, anything in between will be a mix. So we wanna take our front textures, put them in the B, our back textures, put them in the A. Now we'll plug this into here. So the front face will display the front textures. And when we turn and look at the back face, we're gonna see the back textures. So let's switch to our scene and let's rotate the leaf. And we have nothing showing up on the back. Why is that? That is because Lens Studio is going to optimize performance and not render things which are hidden. So it just by default, will cull the back facing side of any object. So what we need to do is turn on two sided and now we can see the back side of our leaf and we can see the back texture. 
we come back here and we rotate it, you can see our front facing textures are here. So obviously it doesn't have any like thickness, so you could get like right on edge and it would disappear. But anything other than that, you'll see the back side and the front side. And that's all thanks to this is front facing node. So yes, if you have an object like a leaf or maybe paper or something where you have a different texture on the other side, this is a great way to get all that into a single material with even a single plane. So you don't need to worry about making a more complex 3D object.